So next thing we'll do, we're going to do a loop. So that'll be kind of just basically the same thing. We're going to be about three and a half Gs on the initial pull on this one. So, you can expect just to squeeze your legs a little bit. It'll capture 7 to 8 alpha, 7 to 2 8 alpha uh, as we go over the top. And then we'll ease off the G there, uh, and that'll kind of help out. All right, Jason, you ready for the loop? Ready. All right, here we go. Just squeeze those legs for me. Here comes about a three and a half G pull. There's three and a half. We'll hold this here. There's six alpha. 6.5. There's seven. <laughs> there we go. The pure nose high. You kind of look out to the left. You can see the ocean out there. Oh, wow. And then if you look uh, straight over our head, reach back, you see that river and our smoke trail where we started. Wow. Here we are, we'll be about a two and a half to three G recovery, so no G strain really required. And we'll basically fly right through our smoke trail where we started. Woo! Oh, that is a loop. Wow. Still feeling good? Yes. Nice. It is so interesting how heavy you feel. Right? Yeah. All right, so the next thing we'll do, uh, we're going to do the minimum radius turn. So minimum radius turn is actually going to be our maximum performance turn rate. But we're going to get the most degrees per second that we can get out of the airplane. So basically, it's going to get our nose uh, tracking around as fast as we can. Uh, so number five, we'll do this during the air show. And this should basically showcase the, you know, the maximum performance of the aircraft. Now uh, for this, we'll give uh, a ready hit. It'll be about an initial six to six and a half G initial pull. Uh, and we're going to go for 360 degrees plus a little bit, and we'll do the turbo nose low on the backside, so you'll feel basically we're going to climb up, and then we're going to kind of push over from there, uh, so you can expect to feel that. Okay. It'll be turned to the left, and I'll count it out for you. Are you ready for the minimum radius turn to the left? Ready. All right, here we go. Ready. Hit it. Squeeze those legs. Put that breath. There's a six and a half. There's 12 alpha. Keep fighting. Keep breathing for me. We're at 5 G's right now. 5.2. That's what it's kind of holding. We're through 270 degrees of turn. There's 360. Here comes that last little pull. Our climb up. And then our push over. Wow. They're pretty nuts. Oh my gosh. Nice shot. That was initially a 6.8 G uh, pull, so no small feet, huh? Wow. I don't understand how you can see. <laughs> so if you start losing your vision, just go ahead and start, I think, back to those, uh, those um, glutes from our yeah, butt cheeks. Yeah. And any time if I, like, if you think your vision is starting to tunnel in, right. just go ahead and squeeze those glutes and try to squeeze them together tighter. Oh, okay. And, start, and that's where I want you to go. So right, right. as soon as you see that, think of glutes. I'm going to squeeze my glutes together tighter. Okay. Now from that. Cool. All right, so the next one is the sneak to vertical rolls. Okay. So that was 6.8 Gs. So we're going to go just a little bit beyond that, about 0.7 more Gs. The difference between 6.8 and 7.5 is... Uh, Technically, 0.7 Gs, but I promise you it's not, uh, it's not all that much more difficult. Okay. The hard part is it going to be oh, 7.5 Gs for a little bit longer than that initial 6.8, which was only about 2 seconds. Okay. Now, so this is going to be about 5 to 10 seconds of 7.5 Gs that we're going to have to fight through. So think about it. If you're counting and you're doing a good breath, uh, it'll be about 3 breaths uh, for you. Uh, and you're going to do great. We're going to fight through it. Okay. Cool. All right, we're going to start an easy turn to the left. This is about a two and a half to three G turn. And once we get pointed back to the south here, we'll start speeding up to Mach 0.95. Right now we're doing Mach 0.56 at 360, oh, at 370 knots now. All right, here we are, rolling out to the south. There's 400 knots. We'll kick in max AB. Fuel fields accelerate. There's Mach 0.75, 500 knots. Mach 0.85. There's 600 knots. Mach 0.9. 0.91. Alright, 
Alright, DC, you ready for sneak the vertical rolls? Ready. Here we go. Get after it. Ready, hit it. Big fight. Coming off the G. Start that roll. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. So, look way over your left wing there. Okay. Do you see all those rolls? Oh gosh, all the curly cues. Yeah, that's where we started from. 7.5 Gs. Wow. No small feet, huh? Wow. Pretty crazy. So we went from 500 feet above the earth to 15,000 feet that quickly. Wow. With all those rolls. Oh my gosh. Nice job. And you can see there on our display, you got that 7.5 right below there, so maximum performance of the aircraft. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good news. That's the uh, longest and heaviest G maneuver that we'll do. Wow. All right, so as we kind of uh, descend back down here, the kick was out the speed brakes. You'll be able to jet kind of rumble around. Those are like our airborne brakes to kind of slow us down a little bit. And we're going to go, now we just went from Mach 0.95, or 0.95 times the speed is down, which is legally the fastest we could go over uh, land. Right. In this area. Um, and now we're going to go super slow. Okay. So we'll see basically how slow we can go, and we'll show you, you know, we'll fly around at about 100 to 120 miles an hour. Get down here about 3,000 feet. Where the air is just a little bit thicker, and we'll get a little better performance out of the aircraft. Oh. So kind of the higher you go, obviously the air is a little bit thinner, and the jet doesn't perform as well. All right. We got plenty of room to the north, so basically we'll kind of cruise here. We'll level off, we're passing through 230 knots. There's 210. 200. 190. 185, we'll bring the speed brakes in. 170. 160. There's 150, we'll kick the smoke on, you'll be able to see that in your rear view mirror. Oh yeah. 140. You'll feel the jet's gonna kinda bump around a little bit. Uh, again, kinda normal as like those leading edge flaps, you look out of those wings, they're kinda getting all started uh, to dig in. Oh yeah. There's 120. All right, so we'll kind of cruise around here. Oh, there's a little climb. We'll pull off a little bit of power. All right, here we are flying around at 25 alpha, or 25 degrees angle of attack. This is what they'll fly in the air show, and five and six will fly formation off each other as they're flying this slow like that. So it's unique here with the fly-by-wire flight control system. In theory, we want to use the rudders, and I want to use my feet. So I'm actually using my feet to fly the airplane right now. Oh. But the jet is smart enough that it knows that if I were to move the stick laterally, left or right, it's going to use basically the same controls. Okay. So you kind of look in your rear view mirror, you can see the rudders will kind of move. You see that one kick in? Oh, right. And that one? Right, yeah. That was with my feet. And then here, if I move my, flight, my stick, that'll actually do it as well. Kind of just showed you there. Okay. Cool. Next what we'll do, we'll kick the smoke off, we'll go full max AB, and we'll turn this thing into a rocket ship. <laughs> so now we're actually climbing uh, straight up. Yeah, look at that out the uh, left and right, you can see we're actually climbing. So pretty crazy, there's 70 knots. Wow. 65, so 65, 64 knots over the ground. We'll bring the nose over, let the nose fall back down. There you can see where we were just flying. Oh. So pretty crazy. Just turn this thing into a rocket ship. Very cool. All right. So next thing we'll do, we're good, and we'll fly upside down. Okay. So for this one, no G-strain, nothing for you. We have inverted fuel pumps here, so we'll be able to fly it upside down. We'll do it for about 30 seconds. 
So really, you just get to hang out uh, and enjoy. Okay. This will climb upside down. Just want you to think about uh, four and, uh, number one and number four will fly formation off each other upside down in the uh, in the show and be uh, only about 18 inches apart as they're doing that formation flying. So pretty crazy.